So, yes. yeah. Just, just building off that point, do, do you think sometimes, and this father's goes to you as well, there's a need for fatigue amongst two parties, mm -hmm. that there has to be a realization that victory cannot be won, and at that point they begin to reach out, and dialogue along the entire way is very good, but only until that realization is had by both sides will that dialogue come to fruition. I think this is what you were saying, Howard, really, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's true, but uh, you can foreshorten the period yeah. uh, before you define exhaustion, if you see what I mean. But I, I, think, I think in terms of the contribution of the religious world to this, there is something else that needs to be said from within prophetic voices. And I was quoting to you last night somebody who went to see the leadership of the Republican movement uh, 50 years ago when there was a kind of uh, the first round of what we call the border campaign. And he was saying to them, even if you did achieve the reunification of Ireland by force, there would still remain the moral and spiritual questions as to how this was achieved. And I, you know, I think we have mm -hmm. to look beyond the sort of political, if we are serious about giving moral leadership within our world, we have to ask these other questions. So that, for instance, I, I keep saying to my friends from the Protestant Unionist community, actually, I have no theological difficulty with us being in a united Ireland or in a partitioned Ireland. What I want to know is what kind of society is it that people are fighting for? I want to know what are the values upon which this new Ireland is going to be built, whether it remains in two parts or one. Those are the issues. Those are the questions that we as spiritual leaders need to be asking. We should have no particular interest as to whether it's going to be part of the United Kingdom or part of the United Ireland. What we want to know is what kind of society are you wanting to create? Maybe just, a, just a footnote on, on fatigue. Uh, w during the war in former Yugoslavia, it was uh, basically said by the third party, well, they're engaged in this bloodletting. We'll have to let them do that for a while. And when it's all settled, then we can come and do something uh, about it. And it can be a kind of very cynical way to approach the, the situation. And so it's not only the two parties are dehumanizing each other by the violence, but the third party is dehumanizing both of them <laughs> uh, additionally, right? So, so I think we have to point. guard against, uh, b b you've got both to, to be wise when you step in, but guard against uh, a too quick of a cynicism about the situation and uh, how quickly. Um, you, when do you need to step in? Uh, Rob? 